I'm Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. Today's video is all about making a little purse. I originally intended to have this done for Valentine's Day, but alas, I did not, and the dogs are being very noisy, but there you go. <laughs> So I didn't get it done quite in time for Valentine's Day, but I am excited to share it with you. I needed a little project that wasn't too time consuming or strenuous because I am recovering from spinal surgery. So I just needed a little pick me up and this project certainly delivered. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go. After I got all of the pieces assembled, I started putting them together. Okay, I'm going to sew these right sides together and leave an opening to turn it out. And this is one side and I will do the same for the opposite side. Still trying to decide whether on the front, if I want to embroider another heart here still deciding that so I'm going to go ahead and sew the back side so I need to add the strap before I sew this up <laughs> so I will do that right now so I've made the strap kind of long I've made the strap kind of long because I want it to be able to go cross body so I'm going to <laughs> unpin this so I can My final step was taking the two sides that I had put together with the outer fabric and the inner fabric and putting them right sides together 
and then sewing them, leaving an opening up at the top. This project would have been a little bit neater had I been able to get upstairs to the iron, but alas, <laughs> I could not do that. But I think it's cute all the same and it works really well as an over the shoulder crossbody purse or even as a little Regency reticule or a little bag for other historical costuming events. Now, you could put a snap in the middle. You could do this really in any shape you want, I guess. And um, it's vaguely heart-shaped. The sides didn't come out quite like I wanted, but I'm happy with it nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, you can hit that little bell icon. I will see you again on our next sewing adventure. Bye!